Welcome Libra Scorpio to your mid-month reading for September. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. This is a bonus reading. Um, I have found a lot of time. Um, so I'm actually hoping next month you can have a um, mid-month reading as well. So woohoo to that. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get straight into this, my friends, and see what is going on with you for the mid-month. This energy that I'm looking for is what you're thinking and feeling. Okay. Scorpio. There it is already. Seven of Swords in your energy. Like, why is the Seven of Swords in your energy? Feeling responsible, feeling like you're adjusting to something, something of the matter. Okay, let's get an Oracle card to figure out what you are doing over here. This Oracle card has a big job. It's not only going to clarify on the Seven of Swords upside down, but it's going to clarify in the entire reading. Sort of an entire reading, please. And it looks like one more. Yep, there it is. Okay. The obstacles and challenges is actually coming up, coming out upside down. So we're going to actually leave it that way. Um, I don't always do that, but I feel that it is a must. And the reason is this because it feels like you're getting out of these obstacles and challenges because you're adjusting to something else and taking responsibility to get away from the obstacles and challenges. Okay, so whatever seemed to be challenging you or seemed to be blocking you, you're either, you know, 100% just taking responsibility, but you're kind of adjusting around it. So sometimes adjusting around things can actually make it go away. Um, so sometimes that does work. So it looks like that's exactly what you're doing. So going straight into the present. Yeah, you're saying I want, which is the shackle, uh, the sacral chakra, telling yourself I want to adjust to this. I want to get past these obstacles and challenges. Okay, because you're, yeah, you're, you're done with this chapter. So instead of 100% um, escaping these obstacles and challenges by putting an end to them, you're saying, I'm going to adjust to this so that it can go away. If it's money, there's nothing really you can do, right, except to adjust to it. If it is a marriage, it's like, fine, they're giving me obstacles and challenges. I will find a way to adjust around this by taking other responsibilities that kind of, you know, smoothly go around. And that's really what it kind of feels like. Okay. In the past, yes, because in the near past, you had the suffering in silence. You were trying to get out of the suffering in silence. And you knew that you were in the Knight of uh, the Nine of Swords. So you're saying, I'm not going to be in the Nine of Swords anymore. So this is where you lay this to rest. Yeah, it's because you can, you know, with the Crown Chakra coming out, you're saying, I know that I can adjust to this, reform to this, take different responsibilities, and work my way around it. So it's kind of like you made your own path. <laughs> You know, you made your own path through um, the mountainside without taking the, the path that was already there. Why? Because it was probably quicker, easier, you know, to make a path going this way. That way you can stay away from the, the large path that leads to the suffering in silence. Okay, friends, let's see what else is going on in the near future. Your heart chakra is open. You have a lot of chakra cards up here. <clears throat> excuse me, which is saying, I love, I love the things that I love and the hope. Nice. So you even have hope there at the bottom of the deck. You have the financial material changes. So this could definitely be talking about money. Okay. Looking for new prosperities. Um, for some of you, it could be love because the heart chakra and others of you, it could be money or it could be both. Okay. So we'll see what's going on.
So going straight into the near past over here, this could have been a week ago, a couple of days ago, um, five minutes ago before you watch this video, um, you know, uh, a couple months ago, who knows, right? So it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but this is definitely the near past, so... Ace of Swords, yes, because you don't want to suffer in silence anymore. You're actually trying to get out of suffering in silence with the suffering in silence card. You're looking out saying, I don't want to be here anymore. And with the Ace of Swords, it's showing that growth within you. It's showing the realizations that you could do new things and that you, yeah, you know you can have new things. Um, and you don't want to sit there anymore. Like I said, it feels like you're making this new path away from the path that's already there. Um, if that one path is the, the driven path that everybody takes, you're saying, no, I need a side route, right? I need to route this out. I need a detour. And that's pretty much what it looks like you're doing. Yeah, from the page of wands. Yeah, because you no longer want to suffer in silence. You have the realization that all you're doing is trapping yourself, giving you mental conflict, and this is not the way to be. Um, so, yeah. With the page of wands over here, are you dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo? Right? So it's like, hmm, what are they doing? Why are they doing this? Are they lazy? Are they not doing their job? Are they exploiting you? Um, are they just too fickle? Are you being too fickle? Take it how it resonates. Maybe you have been being too fickle about the situation. Maybe you were being lazy and not trying to get yourself out of the suffering in silence and you're saying, no, you know what? I need to take action. Okay. And it's pretty much telling you, look, look, Libra Scorpio, you are incredibly talented. Okay. Instead of just sitting around telling yourself how wonderful you are, you need to get out of that, you know, nine of swords and that eight of swords and get out there and do it right. Instead of just keeping yourself stagnant and just laying around. If it's not you, it could be your partner, and you might be thinking, you're so talented. Why are you just laying around? Um, man, we know a lot of those people. So it could literally be that, and you're like, oh, you're putting me in suffering and silence. You have all this talent, and I can't believe you're wasting this talent. Like I said, if it's not, it could be your child. It could be your spouse. It could be whoever. Um, or it could be yourself, right? Take it how it resonates. Because you could be actually literally sitting on the couch telling yourself, I don't understand why I have all this talent and it's being wasted. Like, I can't do anything with it. But you're just sitting on the couch doing nothing, right? Because you're suffering in silence. But you're trying to come to the realizations that, you know what, I have all this potential. Okay, but I'm just being kind of lazy about it right now. So you're taking the responsibility. We're going with this story because that's the way the story looks. Okay, it doesn't really look too much like another person. It actually looks like you, Libra Scorpio. Okay, now, like I said, it could be another person. So, okay, but for this story, it's you. <laughs> okay, take it how it resonates. Whatever doesn't resonate, you guys throw away. Okay, because it's a general reading and, you know, some, some of the things you're going to get, some of the things you ain't going to get, right? And if you know that that's you and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so me because I got um, stuck inside my head thinking nobody wanted my talents, thinking I couldn't do anything, and then I stopped moving, then you know it's you. If you know it's the other person, you're looking at them right now, like, you know, you like look over and you see them sitting on the couch, you're like, yeah, that's you. <laughs> right? Okay, so... But it's like, I know, I know because I woke up. I know that I'm worth more. I know that I can do these things. I know I'm worth 10 of pentacles. I have the newfound love. That's what it looks like over here, taking the responsibility and finding the newfound love with it and trying to find your prosperities, waking up to the ideas that, you know what, I am worth so much more. 10 of pentacles. Okay, five of cups. Five of cups upside down. You have to get out there. You have to have no, um, you have to have the resolution no matter what you guys to understand, right? So you're having the resolution that you are 10 of pentacles, but it's almost like to the point where how long did it take me in the past to have this resolution? How long did it take me to get to where I need to be, right? Because this wasn't passion and it wasn't helping my family and it wasn't helping me. 
okay, by being depressed and being stuck in my head. So I know that, and that's why I found love. Okay. Okay, now I'm finding the passion because I didn't, I wasn't passionate about what I wanted. It's kind of weird. It's, this is kind of strange because you have the four of wands there. You know what? I think you had a passion at one time and then you realize you lost the passion because it feels like you couldn't find what you were looking for. But now it's like, I know that I love what I love and I know I'm worth this and I have so much potential. It's almost like you lost yourself in that area. With the sacral chakra over here being open, it's saying, I want. And now you're taking on the responsibilities and you're adjusting to the obstacles and challenges that are at the forefront. You're saying, I'm not going to make this an obstacle and challenge anymore. I'm going to go for my 10 of, of coins. I know what I'm passionate about and I need to, you know, in the past you were like, I need to put a step forward and go after my dreams. Yeah, it's almost like you're just sitting around talking about it. Okay. And why do I feel like it's like, I think it when I think right now in the present, it's like, I want this so bad that I'm almost mad as the queen of wands coming up. I'm almost mad at myself that I allowed myself to get this way from the past. Um, and now it almost feels like you're kind of gossiping, kind of bragging, gossiping about yourself, trying to get yourself going telling other people, this is where I'm going. I'm going to a new area in my life. I'm picking up the pace. This is what I want. You have all this creativity. And with the queen of wands being, you know, a creative person, um, it's almost like you're like, I want creativity. And I just cannot believe that I allowed myself. Yeah. To get off this path. Yeah. It, you are definitely speaking. You are definitely speaking about this lost um, inspiration that you had. We're just going to put it that way. Um, and it really does feel like you're being very harsh on yourself about it. But I think that harshness is what's keeping you adjusting to the ideas and keeping you more um, grounded. Just don't be too hard on yourself. We all go through this. At certain stages in our life, we all do. Um, the majority thereof. Yeah, because it just feels like you're being really harsh on yourself and you're kind of beating yourself up with the Queen of Wands over here. It might even be that you're like even kind of talking bad about yourself, just saying, because the Queen is upside down and she is mad. So it's almost like you're mad at yourself. You're beating yourself up, saying, you know what? I want to do this. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to do this. You know, I'm, I'm going to take the responsibility and I'm going to go out there and do what I need to do. You might even be telling a fire sign this, right? Could be your husband, like I said, your children, who knows, right? But you could even be telling them that. Because why? Because you're telling them I'm pissed off because I didn't take the action that I should have took when that opportunity had um, come up. Maybe there was a opportunity and the way passed, they came up and you didn't take that opportunity and now you're kind of kicking your, your own butt about it. But however it is, you're telling them, you know, I'm mad because I didn't take any action. You know, I was feeling sorry for myself or feeling down or something. I didn't give myself enough credit. And I just kind of got lazy about it. But now I'm giving myself new beginnings and I realize this is the end of this chapter. And I'm going to get out there and do what, I, what is necessary. And Queen of Swords. It's almost like it feels like you almost had the opportunity to be your own boss and you kind of cold shouldered that situation. You walked away from something that could have made you a lot of money and you know it, or you didn't take a job opportunity that could have made you a lot of money. It could have even been that you got into a fight with your old boss and walked away from that and you're kicking yourself for it. Something like this. And now you're thinking about it. It's like you're talking about this queen of swords. This could have been a boss, a person you were running a business with. Um, there could have been a, you know, 
great opportunity for a ownership, something of that point, work allies, something like that. And you know, you're really speaking. Yeah. And now you're giving yourself the opportunity. You're saying, you know what, but I expect now that now that I'm taking on responsibilities and I'm adjusting to this new situation at hand, I'm expecting to get my prosperities back. So you are definitely going for new prosperities. You're going to get yourself right back on track um, over here with the, the King of Pentacles. You you're telling this person, and you could be telling a water sign, an air sign, a fire sign. My God, there's everybody up there. So it doesn't matter. The whole point is, is that literally you're telling them, I'm having new beginnings. I understand what's going on. I woke up. I got out of this. You know, for some of you, it could have been a pity party. Um, could have been mad at your old boss. However it is. Something took place. It's going to be a little different for everybody, but you're telling yourself, no, I'm going for my new prosperities because I can see things and I'm on top now. I'm getting past the obstacles and challenges and I'm getting right back to where I need to be. Yeah. You're still a little overwhelmed emotionally about the situation. So I do feel yourself kind of wishy-washy a little bit. Um, But no matter what, it's you're still going to take this opportunity. I think it's just because the King of Cups being upside down is really showing how you're overwhelmed by this whole situation. And I think kind of waking up to a situation like this can keep you a little overwhelmed. And it could be overwhelming to try to go out there and get what you're looking for. Um, not saying, you know, it's going to be so easy, right? And it kind of feels like that. Like, I'm going after what my prosperities are, but... I'm getting a little overwhelmed over here and a little emotional because it's not really as easy as I want it to be. Um, I know I can do this, but it's not easy trying to get to where I need to be. Six of Swords, you might have to travel further for this job opportunity. Somebody might even be offering you a job over here with the night. Either you're out there looking for the expectations to put yourself out there or somebody's already come in. Um, to offer these cups, take it how it, um, it resonates, this job offer. But however it is, it feels like you're over overwhelmed because you know you're going to have to travel further for this, this job, this opportunity, this new prosperity. Um, and that's not exactly what you want. Yeah, definitely job. <clears throat> yeah, for this money, traveling for this money, traveling for work, eight of pinnacles work. So you know that you're going to have to travel further. That doesn't make you happy. It really doesn't. But it is a great opportunity because you have the world over here. No matter what, you have the universe now with the world. So it is divinely in your, on your path of where you need to start going. It's like the new path opened up for you to close that old chapter to get you a new chapter. But yeah, it looks like you're going to have to travel further for this work. Um, and that's just not really what you wanted. With the heart chakra over here in, in the near future. It's like your, your heart is open and you're ready to go. Three of Pentacles having the cooperation and being in the spotlight where you need to be with the Queen of Pentacles coming out. So you're making that prosperity. You're in the spotlight. You're doing what you need to do and your prosperity is looking great. You have co-workers around you or people that you work with that are doing a great job. If you own your own business, that marketing is coming in. It's doing great. Um, as you can see, these two people over here, they might be buying your products or doing something um, however it is, it's great collaboration and within a business area, that means that it's going very well. You're, you know, getting the clientele that you need, you need to get the marketing that you need. Um, if it's just regular work, you and the coworkers and the boss are doing great together and you guys are really working very well. And it looks like you are kind of in the spotlight, um, in the near future because it looks like you are the one really putting in the hard work over here with the queen of Pentacles. And it seems to be that you are the one that takes it very seriously and nurtures the situation. And people can see this. Um, and this is because you have the heart. Your heart is in it. Your heart is in it. You love what you're doing. And people see that. Your boss recognizes that. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Perfect 
timing with the moon coming out, this was the most perfect timing that you could, you could have ever had. It feels divinely done. It's kind of like once you close the door to all this over here in the near past, it's almost like, you know, you close one door and the universe opens another door for you and it was the perfect timing. It almost feels, like I said, divinely done. You have the universe plus the world plus the moon. It's very divine. Um, it was like the moon was watching out for you, right? Moon says, hey, look, this is the perfect time for you to do this. You might even have a night job, um, which you always wanted, right? Maybe you want to work in the night. However it is, it just feels like you are exactly where you're supposed to be at the right moment in your life. Going straight over here to the hope. Seems like your hopes and promises has been answered. Yes, it was a slow moving process, but you also have a message coming in as well. So it feels like it's two in one. You have this message. You have this, what is it? Two of Pentacles, another message coming through that is juggling two ideas. Oh, and it's sitting on top of the perfect timing. So you might be getting another job offer. You might be getting offered. A higher person it feels like a higher position with the knight of pentacles and you're juggling to say you know what i don't know and maybe they're offering you the nighttime um shift something like that but it does look like they're they're offering you something they're offering you something that you're going to need to think about with the two of pentacles could even like it feels like a higher position or a different shift Hmm. Yeah, it feels like the management has been watching you. If you've been working, if you're working for management and you're the coworker, you know, you don't own your own. The management has been watching you with the page of the source. They've been doing research with you and they would like you, they would like to offer you, um, like I said, a better shift, um, better pay, pay raise, something to this matter. Um, because you're really, but I told you, you're in the spotlight anyways. Um, if this is your own business, somebody's coming in to offer you some kind of deal. Hmm. Yeah, King of Swords, lots of communication going on over here. It looks like some kind of business deal going on. Definitely with the King of Swords coming over here, that is management. It could be a market person. It could be if you own your own business. Maybe somebody's coming in if you sell, let's say, apparel, something like that. You own a bakery. They want a lot of something. You know? It's like, you know, they want a lot of bagels for a party, I don't know, something wonderful that's going to actually make you think for a second if you can do this type of thing, if you want this. I don't know, it's a great thing though. It gives you Ace of Cups, whatever it is. It gives you better prosperity. So, I don't know you guys. It's, it looks like you went from one thing in the near past to getting everything ready to go and it was just divinely done at the perfect time for the near future to just really put you on a track on a track even though you have to travel you know you have to travel further it seems like that's what you're supposed to do okay so let's see what the angels have to say it looks beautiful It says take action, and it feels like take action now. I just like hearing now. Do it now, Libra Scorpio. Do it now. And I got yes, do it now. <laughs> so the action, the take action card comes out with the yes card, and that is exactly what I heard. Okay. So this can happen within the next few weeks. Okay. Whoa. 
perfect timing. Look at that, perfect timing on the moon. It is the perfect time within the, so take action now for the big yes. And within the next few weeks, you will start actually feeling this all coming together for the perfect timing, okay? So it looks beautiful, okay? And there you have it. And that was the reading for you. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye. Hello, friends. I finally got my first item in the mail from my store. This is the Chakra Peaceful Mind collection. If you guys are interested in any of these items that I have, click on the link below in the description. Until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.